All right, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today's it's an evening paddle. Heading out onto Floodwood Pond. I'll tell you about this place when we come back. Alright folks, well welcome back. Going out on the Floodwood Pond. This is one of the things that irks me about uh, sometimes I run into. No parking. Okay, so let's take a walk down this road where the launch is. And yes, I'm parking there. So, there's a sign. There's a campsite. Okay. So now we're into a, another area. This is where I just unloaded. And what do we see over here? No parking. The campsite is over in there. And uh, right there's the outhouse. And the launch is down there. Where the register book. Where the hell else are you supposed to park? I don't get it. All right, folks, well, welcome back. Uh, this is an evening paddle. The sun's over my shoulder, so there might be a glare. But uh, this is Floodwood Pond. And I believe this is all in the uh, Saranac Wilderness area. Um, I'm, I'll have to double check that. But Floodwood Pond is uh, it's a good-sized pond. And it's known for a, uh, there's a uh, St. Regis Canoe Outfitters that are up here. They have their summer operations on Floodwood Road, the road that I'm staying on currently. I'm on site 11 on Floodwood Road. And uh, just a truck to, tonight. And uh, decided to come out and do a little paddle. It's a nice area. But Floodwood has the, uh, is known for the Floodwood Loop with paddlers um there's a whole series of ponds up here and probably the uh the most well-known one is going to be fish creek dc campground fish creek is on it roland's pond is up here they're all over this way and um basically all these ponds up here um there's east pine pond west pine pond floodwood pond middle pond there's a whole bunch of them that are up here and the loop forget how many miles it is but uh it's been Christ, it's been four years since i've been up this way and uh I've, it's on my left uh, i've been wanting to come back up here it's a gorgeous day and, um it was probably about 70 degrees earlier today and now
All right, everybody. Well, the sun is setting down over, over the trees, and it is, I think, almost it's between 7:30 and 8 o'clock. My site is right over here. My truck is over here. And uh, but before I close out this video, I just want to thank people who uh, you know commented or sent me an email or on. Uh, the video I did about the uh, when I took a fall and injured my shoulder and tweaked my back so I had three things going on all at once I, I had the uh, procedure on the inside of my leg to take a cyst out that's all healed up that's all good um, the shoulder is still it's a lot better I can move it around a lot better now um, and uh, it's getting along it's it's getting there and um, PT and uh, you know exercises keeping it loose is working final diagnosis was that I have a slight tear in my rotator cuff not bad enough to uh, have surgery but um, probably down the road he said they think that the, something might happen down the road there I'm where I may have to have surgery but not immediately um, this is probably hopefully years down the road yet but uh, so yeah that's always going to be a little probably a little problem when I reach wrong or pick something up that I shouldn't pick up and as but as far as my back going um, same thing stretching uh, trying to uh, keep it keep it loose um, I have to get into my old routine I used to stretch a lot and I kind of got out of that so Anyways, I'm going to head back to my site, get my fire going, and uh, have dinner. So, thanks for watching. Alright folks, you watched all the way through, thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Continue to follow the adventure. And remember folks, tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us. So disconnect from that Wi-Fi, connect to this out here won't be disappointed.